Michigan, Michael Patrick Shields, radio stations across the state of Michigan. And uh, later in the program, Governor Rick Snyder will be with us to explain why Kevin Orr had to declare bankruptcy for the city of Detroit and what it all means. He'll be with us later. Bob Benzer will, too, the owner of the Pink Pony on Mackinac Island, where the uh, boats are finishing in the Port Huron to Mackinac race. Congressman Bill Heisinga will be with us later. The Detroit City Council President, Santiel Jenkins, will be with us later. Dan Musser, president of Grand Hotel, will join us later. And Dr. Sam Mallory, the uh, dentist, uh, his uh, son is married to Senator Gretchen Whitmer, who will also join us later on this program. It's Michael Patrick Shields. Now, there's uh, a lot to learn. If you watch the Sunday shows, Kevin Orr and Governor Snyder were on those programs. And there is word now that the Michigan Attorney General's Office is fighting a ruling by Ingham County Circuit Court Judge Rosemarie Aquilina that the bankruptcy filing for Detroit violates the state constitution. Kevin O'Malley, attorney from Butzel Long on the other end of our AT&T line this morning. Welcome back to the program, sir. Nice to hear your voice. Boy, are you busy today. <laughs> yeah, so that's just scratching the surface. But uh, we turn to you immediately because uh, is it possible that, in fact, the uh, bankruptcy will not go through because, as Judge Aquilina states, it violates the state constitution? Well, Judge Aquilina is a fabulous judge, but um, the weight of the law and constitutional law specifically is going to make it rough on this decision staying in place. Um, there are certain areas of the law that the federal government has kept to itself. Those include taxa certain taxation, um, granting citizenship, patents. And bankruptcy is one, another one of those areas. And so notwithstanding the fact uh, that Judge Aquilina has a valid basis for a decision, namely the Michigan Constitution, in the long run, this will all most likely be transferred to the federal bankruptcy court. So if you know that, and lots of people know that, the attorney general seems to know that, what is Judge Aquilina's point? Well, she really does have a good point, and here's the biggest thing to remember. This is a Chapter 9 proceeding. Um, the number of bankruptcy, regular bankruptcy proceedings in this country, uh, Chapter 7, Chapters 13, Chapters 11, and there, you know, there have been millions. There's only been a handful of Chapter 9 proceedings in the entire country. Everybody's feeling their way around this area of the law right now, and so, you know, these are the decisions that are happening right now that are going to define what Chapter 9 is. And let me tell you, uh, what's going on in Detroit, this is the tip of the iceberg. Uh, you're going to see a lot of Chapter 9 proceedings during the course of the next few years. And so um, it's being, that whole body of law now is being built as we speak. Uh, Judge Aquilina certainly is an, um, making an unreasoned decision. But I think at the end of the day, the weight of the law is going to support having all this under the giant bankruptcy court umbrella. All right. Thank you for the expertise and the friendship, too. Kevin O'Malley with Butzel Long. And